great day today today is tuesday happy tuesday to you i hope that your morning is going well hopefully right now my power will not just shut off like it did yesterday <laughs> i had to laugh i was like really seriously <laughs> so but it made a good monday we still had a really good monday despite the fact that we had no power for a few hours in the morning so i'm like all right today i'm anticipating staying on so but it's no big deal all my house stuff is done so i'm good if it wants to shut down i can but please don't shut it down <laughs> Today is my day that I usually um, do my running and stuff like that because I have Lauren today. She will come here in a little bit. She will make sure the kids get their chore list done and they'll get their school done. And then I'm free to do my running. So usually I set this up a long time ago when I started um, making money on YouTube because it was a lot of extra work, a lot of hours going to editing videos, making videos, all that good stuff. Even though I'm filming just like my day, I'm still working at my computer you know, six, four to six hours a day. So it's a lot of extra work, which is fine. Very thankful, not complaining. And I'm very thankful Lauren um, was a nanny. She is a house cleaner. She does organizing, homework, all those things. And so I'm like, you know, what if I hired you a couple days a week to help me out and in turn be able to help her out? And so it just worked out good. This was when Greg was working a million hours at his um, old job. And so he was just gone a lot and not able to be home. And so I was like, that will work out good. So just doing shopping hauls and all that kind of stuff with all the kids is a lot of work and so i'm like that would give me a day to get my running done and another day to get like any kind of computer work done or anything filming anything like that i need to get finished up so those are what my two days are usually designated for um most of it's running getting errands you know shopping with kids because that's never a fun thing to do it, it is i did it i did it many 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 years i'm gonna be married 25 years this week and uh oh yeah i remember taking the big or do my older kids that are watching my videos i don't know if you guys do we had a quadruple stroller yes a quadruple stroller i remember getting this thing and i thought it was the greatest thing my husband could have ever bought me and i because i had like the sit and stand stroller you know we had the the child that sit in the front and then you had like one that could stand in the back so we just um but we always had another one and so it was like two kids standing in the back and there just was never enough room we had the double stroller you know they had like a triple one but it just was not feasible and so we one day found this quadruple stroller and the thing was a beast and massive but oh it sure was great having all my kids locked in someplace they could not get out and they were like all right i've got everybody i feel good and you push this thing through the store and it'd be just humongous but it worked i was very thankful to uh have that so we would do shopping and you know we got through it it was great so now my shopping is just a little bit different and now there's grocery pickup so who needs to even shop anymore <laughs> which is nice but i am going to do some shopping today and so uh just the seasons in life and the things you go through so if you're going shopping with a lot of little kids and you're like oh my goodness i'm stressed out i would love to have lauren come stay at my house so i can go shopping i never had lauren watch my kids when i went shopping a long time ago <laughs> so i do it now as life is easier but it's able to um she's able to get things done because of what i was finding is that when i was doing um these videos my home duties are getting neglected and so um even though i'm you know a wife and a mom it was just that it was crazy trying to get both done and so now that there's benefit to be able to do the videos financially i'm able to help her out and in turn kids can have fun they get somebody besides me and life is good so that's why my tuesday was born with lauren it's not that i always think people people are like oh yeah they you watch other youtubers and you see them that they have like um they just look like it's all done their house is perfect and i'm like yeah they have nannies and all these things well i never had a nanny never had any of that with my kids and the only reason i started doing pay lauren is just because um i'm like okay i had an extra financial blessing and i'm like okay that would definitely help me out and it really does work for me so today is my tuesday so what i will do this morning while the kids are sleeping and power stays on hopefully the house is clean i'm so thankful like yesterday was the greatest day getting everything done i had on my marker board like maxine a bath and the boys haircut and making the cookies for greg and i just wasn't sure if i was going to get all that done well the cookies got done and then later i was working and i said oh i happened to walk out here and see the list i was like oh, maxine bath and i'm like oh. so i asked autumn i'm like would you give maxine a bath and autumn is the gentle the gentle soul child so maxine you know she doesn't like her best at all so she lets autumn just give it to her so precious and gentle and sweet so autumn got her a bath and then the boys were gonna get a shower because they're outside playing and I was like, ooh, let me do haircuts. So I was like, you guys know I'm not the straight haircut person. Not my gifting. I don't do straight lines. It's just not me, maybe in time, but like if I had to like, <laughs> 
cut hair, I was like, hmm, I'm just not my mem yeah, I won't even go into my stories of cutting hair, but I can do like my hair where I cut that, that's simple because it doesn't have to be perfect, but the little boys, I would always do like a buzz shave on their whole head because uh, it was easy for me. Well, now they've got some hair and they want to style it, and I was like, okay, I'll, I can do this, right? I can do this, so cut the kid out, and I was like, okay, let's cut your hair real quick. It's I want the top to grow a little bit, but I just need to cut the sides in the back because it's getting all frizzy and, you know, fluffy on the sides there, the boy's hair. So I was like, I can do this. So I'm like, all right, Lord, let me let me get their hair cut. And so <laughs> I did it. I took the clippers out. And, and hello, I don't know why the clippers have the, the ear pieces where they're, you know, an angle to left and right. Never use those in my life. Why? Why, why have I never used those in my life? I don't know. They're there for a reason because they work. So I put those two pieces in and did buy their ears and I was like, oh, that's actually really good. So I did buy the ears. And then the part right here where that little line fade, I just put a longer piece, usually I do really short and then it messes it all up. And like I did it and I was like, well, I mean, it's not definitely not professional, not professional, but better than shave off all your hair. Sorry, boys, I've done that way too many times. And so I was so thankful I did like Steven real quick and I was like, ooh, okay, great. And then I'm like, all right, Jensen. Jensen likes his hair. He loves hair. You guys, he's had long hair for a long time. Jensen is my hair boy. He would have, he will have the styling looking hair. I know he will. He's got great hair. He's got cowlicks all over his head. I remember when he was born, my girlfriend was like, oh wow, he has got like a bunch of cowlicks on his head. And so cowlicks, what a name, cowlick, whoever came up with that. But anyways, he's got this great looking hair. And so when we went to get it cut at the barber, they kind of cut it from really long to super short. And then I was like, oh, that's just way too short. So we want to let the top grow a little bit because it does look good styling with that whatever rough kind of look, whatever. I don't know. It looks good. But anyways, I was like, all right, don't let me ruin his hair. So I did his and I was like, ah, oh, yes. So it just made me happy to say, okay, I got their hair done. So it came out, marked off my marker board. So now, now my marker board is clear, which makes me feel good. That's a corner right there. My new list is cleaning the garage. You know how I do break up my months, like different zones this month. I'm going to, I have my fifth zone, which is the end of the month, which is actually the beginning for you guys, but it has cleaned my garage. And so I thought, hmm, that might be a good time to get down there and clean it up. Kind of just go through and pick it up before, you know, winter time and then not touch it at all anymore through the winter. So maybe today or tomorrow we'll see i probably won't film that we'll just do that so that was good i was like ah oh. and then we threw one more load of laundry in last night to get you know the hair and the towels and you know everything done and i was like ah oh. so it just makes you feel good to get everything done after just such a chaotic week last week and weekend with the no power so it was good so today i woke up i'm like all right i'm feeling good greg left early for work got up worked um listened to a video fixed it and got it all set to go and i'm like all right let me get my list for today so I got my little list here of things that I have to do today. So what I'm going to do is um, get a few things done here. I want to get, I pull out the gloves for the kids. The, the winter, well, I didn't, Jensen did yesterday. He's like, mom, it's glove time. And so he got out the winter glove bag. Well, I need to like, <laughs> at one point when I put them in there, they all had pairs, but I don't know if they have pairs or not because they've been taken out multiple times. So I want to set them on the table, set them up in pairs. And then when the kids get up, they can grab their own that they want for winter. However, they need a few extra because it does get cold cold enough for gloves here and then have them put them in their room so I don't have to have the bag out anymore and that stuff will be stored in their room so I'm gonna put that out today I'd like to organize my drawer this morning with my organizers and get that part done my little Mod Podge pictures my picture frames are um, landscape sized all my photos are portraits so I need to take those off the wall and then lift see if I can lift up the sawtooth holder on the back and then reposition it I don't know if I'll be able to take it off straight Let's hope and just re-put it on. And if not, then today I will get more hangers for the back to put the other way so I can hang those out. I might just, we'll see how great it is coming out. I'll just see how that works. So I'm gonna do that this morning, what else? And then Jade and I are gonna run out this morning when Lauren comes. Oh, I'll get breakfast, lunch, and dinner out too for the kids, that's easy. That'll be easy. And then Jade and I are gonna run out. We're gonna go to church, go set up for the week there, and then um, go head to the store. I'm not gonna pick up a ton of groceries. I'm gonna go get Greg and my groceries. It's a grocery haul for my husband and myself, that's it. <laughs> That'll be extra for kids, but Greg and myself, it's gonna be a anniversary grocery haul. So we're just gonna go get road trip snacks and different things to have in the car for us. So that'll be my day today. And then coming back and just having life. So it'll be an easy Tuesday for me and for you. And also Tuesday is our less stuff more live. It's the part of the week where I share a little bit of encouragement for the week and you can choose to do it or you don't have to choose to do it. Don't say that I have to do these. No, I don't have to. It's just recommendations to help weed things out in your life. And so last week I did not do it and I was like, 
missed last week because of power outages and then it was such a busy day. I didn't even think about a lot of stuff in my life because it was just a busy life. So we're gonna skip last week, we're gonna go on to the new week. So this week is gonna miss chapter 46. You can get this book free below, click it, download, it's all yours. Or you can look back and see all the other videos we did. I have a playlist, less stuff, more life. Um, this one is going to be the changes to get rid of the bad stuff from our diets. So don't look and I go, well, Amy, you eat junk food. I know I eat junk food. I have cookies right here on my counter. I buy snacks. I do all those things. Normal people things. Maybe not normal for you if you're a whole foods person, but normal for us. And so we go through seasons in life. We go through different times in our life. I went through a time where we ate everything homemade. I made everything from scratch, everything. Like our bread, bread was a once a week thing. Did all these things, baked everything, did all things. Okay, well then life changes and you do different things. I start doing videos and being able to work full time doing that. And you don't just make so much because you don't spend so much time in the kitchen. You're like, oh, I can just buy that for the price. So you purchase instead of making it. And so you sometimes get into that rum drum you homeschool kids and you find life is busy. So you buy things because it's a whole lot easier. It just depends on your season and life. And so this is about just reprogramming your brain to eat things a little bit differently. Sometimes we can look in the mirror and go, oh yeah, and you have a few pounds to lose. I know myself, I can look in the mirror and go, ah, okay, it's getting a little comfy down there. <laughs> so I'm like, <sighs> little things and then you're like oh, okay and then you just go through like avoid all the sweets avoid all this and then it's like after a while of avoiding you might lose a few pounds and you're like okay I want to go back to chocolate chip cookies or and it just gets into a cycle of like repeat repeat you starve yourself for a little bit and then you go back so this is more about reprogramming and just doing gradual changes in your home to make yourself a healthy life so it's not about cutting things completely out it's just about making little changes to make a big impact over time. So this is, obviously we know we should be eating food in a natural state. Is it wrong to eat Cheetos? Is it wrong to have some candy? I don't know, that's your own personal convictions. When you think of food and returning to a simpler state, think of a natural one. The way that it would be if God had placed it here on the earth. That's kind of the the food that you wanna to gravitate toward. I know when I first started doing like um, changings in our diets and foods because we did a lot of convenience foods. We still, we do, we do some now, not as much, but I remember going, oh yeah, I need to do that. So I'd buy these big buckets full of dried beans and seeds and grains and I, they'd sit in my basement forever and ever and we just slowly use them up. And so, you know, we'd be like, oh, I got popcorn seeds, but I got snack mix. Let's have the snack mix instead of that. And so that stuff kind of sat for a while. And so. What I do is I try to like, okay, make sure I use those up. Use those simple things and use those up in our homes first. And you know, like eating oatmeal. Oatmeal is not as appealing for breakfast as, you know, cold cereal is. And snack mix is better than popcorn seeds. And so what I had to do is I made a list. I made a list of foods that I can start slowly changing and incorporating into our home. Same thing with like doing this 52 weeks. It was things that I slowly started doing to change things in my life, to make a bigger impact. So these were things that I did back in the day a long time ago, and now we may change things now, and I'll share with you why. Like the first one I put was eliminate white flour, the sugar part, bread, and pasta. All right, so we had a lot of white bread loaves that we would eat, so then I switched over to wheat. I switched over to sandwich first, the sandwich wheat, because it was softer, then I just went to whole wheat. Then we did, we liked the white flour, whole wheat flour is a little bit more, you know, like, harder when you eat it and it's like thicker and the kids are like I don't like this so then we found white wheat flour switched over just to using that and that was good then we went from white sugar to raw sugar is it really a healthier choice than sugar sugar is still sugar but that's what we did in the beginning pasta we had a instead of white pasta we buy a lot of whole wheat pasta all right then move to another state you can't really find your white wheat flour as much so I'm like okay so when I could get it I did but I still buy white flour because sometimes I can't find that. My raw sugar, I used to be able to get a huge bag of it for super cheap. Now it's super expensive in the store. So you just have to pick, make your list of things that you wanna change in your home. Things like sugary drinks. Instead of drinking that, switch to water. I made a note to avoid packaged things with ingredients over five items. That was something we did. Replace fake margarines and vegetable oils with real butter and olive slash coconut oils. And that was something we did. Remember when I made my cookies, I was like, normally I would go buy the margarine. And I was like, do you spend the more money or do you not? So then we switched more to butter. I don't really, I do. I can't say I don't because I know I have bought margarine in the last few months, but trying to naturally switch over to just butter, that's a better choice. <laughs> Take your table salt and replace it with Himalayan sea salt. Instead of snack foods, you know, like these cookies on my counter, get more fresh fruits and vegetables. Stop eating out and making more meals. We don't have that much of a problem. Sometimes we do, we eat out, we don't eat out that much. 
like in a whole month's time, maybe a few times, but not very often. So most of every one of our meals is at home. And then think about, I remember back in the day when I was home all the time, I worked on replacing a lot of things in my pantry with homemade items like chicken bouillon. Love chicken bouillon. All right, so I can buy it for $5, a big giant container at our local Walmart. Back in the day, they didn't have that. It was like a lot of expensive to buy it. So then I started making my own because I could get the herbs and seasoning super cheap. And so then I started making my own. Did the same thing for ranch powder. Go through, you know, then you find a good barbecue sauce you can make homemade. And I worked on replacing a lot of the canned items I had and went just one day. I was like, okay, let me make this homemade. Let me make this homemade. And then we tried it. I had to tweak it until we learned to like it. So it was little things. Did it change overnight? Absolutely not. Do we falter and go back? Oh yeah, you just do what you can do in your home. These are just ideas that you can do if you want to make your eating simpler. It's just going through and okay, let's just choose that. Let's get that out of the way. Let's go to the next one and just working your way down your list. This will be a slow journey in your home, but it's one that you'll see that over time, you gradually you'll do it. You'll go from your kids having snacks all day long to eating just three meals a day and not snacking as much because they're fuller because they don't have a lot of the processed foods. When my kids eat cereal for breakfast, which I haven't bought a long time, which is good, I find that they are hungry right away. But if they eat something a little bit more substantial, they're a lot fuller. Hello, sounds simple, right? And you'll just see over time, things your kids you thought would never eat, they'll actually start eating. I remember just making popcorn, my kids are like, eh, popcorn. It's one of their favorite snacks now to eat. Trail mix with nuts and all that, for a while there they were like, but you know what? After time of having it over and over, they eventually start eating it more and more. You just gotta gradually, slowly introduce it into your diets and you'll see the change in your home. It's one of those slow moving processes, but worth it in the end. It's about reprogramming your taste buds for something different. So it doesn't happen right away. Nope, it doesn't. Kids do not, well, my kids never loved oatmeal right away. It was one of those things like, all right, just have a couple scoops. Eh, okay, and then we're hungry. Let's have it again the next day. Take a break off and we'll do it again a couple days later. Slowly reintroduce it and then they'll eat oatmeal. You just gotta slowly do it. And choosing one thing a week, changing it or a month in your home is better than not at all. So that's your list of more life challenge for the week. It's all about just making small individual changes in your home to help your life go a whole lot better. Weeding out the extras in your life. So, all right, that's my list of more life. I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna get to um, getting, maybe I'll do my organ. What time is it? My clock's over here, not over here. It's not even seven yet. So I'm gonna get to my organizing, go through my gloves and stuff right now, and then um, then worry about food after. So let's go do that now. come by gloves and hats all that winter attire when it's freezing so if you see them in the stores now is the time to buy them I remember waiting and like going to the store and I'm like oh my goodness there's nothing there's absolutely nothing like their first snow when we moved here we're like oh we'll just we won't even get a shovel we don't need it we got rid of everything before we moved here and then we came here and we're like and it snowed and I'm like Greg couldn't even get a shovel at the store and so he had to use like this little tiny like a dirt shovel the square hat that's how we cleared our driveway for the first time and so thankful grandma Linda she provides us with some snow shovels each year so thank you grandma and Papa Bill <laughs> so we have big snow shovels we haven't had to use them which is good but she always sends down gloves for the kids too because it's sometimes it's like if I look now, they're at the store everywhere, but come Christmas, there'll be nothing. So, and that's kind of when you need them. So I have my nice array of gloves here, which is good. So I bought the little boys these last year. They never even needed them for the snow because you know, they're like $10 a pair and they just lose them. And so um, these I think will still fit Jensen, maybe not. They might have to go to Steven. These were Steven's, I'm gonna just see if that fits his hand. But I have a lot of boy ones here. And then the girls, they can go through theirs and pick out which ones. These are looking small. I don't know if that's too small for Maddie or not. So we're going to have to let them try them on to put some away. These are the mismatched pile right here. So those are going the garbage. Trash they go. So the rest the kids can uh, 
pick out and take a few pairs from myself. I have a couple of adult ones and then all the hats here. The boys usually wear hats. The girls don't usually. I have, do have a couple girl hats there and leg warmers. Oh my goodness. Who else uses leg warmers? Grandma brings those for the girls. These are great for, um, like I grew up in leg warmers. Anybody else grew up in leg warmers? I wore a lot of dresses when I was a kid. Um, which is just my choice, which is funny because nobody else did, but the leg warmers were great. So what we use these for is when they go outside, we don't have snow pants in that. So it only snows like once a year, maybe it didn't even snow last year enough to go in the snow. So I'll put these over their like jeans or pants and then, um, another layer of sweatpants and it keeps the snow out because we don't do boots either. And so, and then someone gave us these, these would be like some kind of sports socks. Um, so I'm gonna look at it and go, yeah, they're, I don't know, soccer ones or whatever they are. I don't even know, but they're super long. So these are great because they keep out the snow out of your feet when you're outside or bread bags. Either one, we use the same thing. So these are here. I'll leave these out and let the kids pick out their, their glove ration for, you know, the winter time. And then I'll know if I have to buy more or what for the kids. But there's plenty of little gloves here. So I'll eat, tab, meat, shake a few, and then I'll put some in my car for extra because I would never do that. And then we go out and they're like, my hands are freezing. So kind of like mask are in the car. I'll have my own gloves in the car. I have my own, mine are in my glove box. And so I have mine out there. So I have a pair always. I don't usually like to go out too much in the winter. So if I avoid it, I do when it's freezing like that and where I need them. So they'll, um, I'll grab a, a pack, one for each kid, just after the extras, just to have something. So if we do go out and they're like, my hands are numb, I'll have some gloves for them. So these are just gonna stay here. All right, let me take my pictures down and then I'll see if I can get the backs off without ruining them. Honey, don't show people the back. So these are my Mod Podge pictures. All I did was have Greg, <laughs> Greg would stain the whole thing. I would not. I would be the person that would paint around a picture on a wall and not do the back of the wall. I know, yeah, that would be me. I didn't, but it, it probably would be me. So I just took a piece of, I think this is pine. I don't, maybe it's pine, I don't know my wood, but, and then we stained the edges of it. This has got glue on it from my Mod Podge. You don't see that part though. And you just put a picture on top and then you just cover it with Mod Podge. So I've got that. If I can get my backs off today and get that, I might actually do these today. We'll see. So I can go buy more of these. That's fine. I'm going to see if I can pull them off straight. Instead of having to buy them, I can just put them on and I can hang them this way because this is the way all the pictures are. best is when you fling it and the tiny little screw comes out. Where did that go? That's nice. Okay, don't fling the screw. Be careful. when you lose that tiny screw I heard it I just set something down and I heard it drop so it probably I put this toolbox here it's probably in the floor I can't find it thank goodness for this toolbox of Jensen Matthew and Lauren thank you this mama uses it more than he probably does no I'm just kidding he does he likes building stuff but I have come in here so many times getting these tools out so maybe I need myself a toolbox <laughs> So all the tools of the shop. So those came off super easy. So I might actually might get my pictures done today. We'll see how the day rolls. So I'm gonna just um, line these up and then tap them down. Hold the pliers. I remember Kyle and I started holding the screws. I'm like, what? Hold the screw with this and then tap it down. So very simple. All right, my husband would not be, he'd be like, honey, that's not straight. That's okay. The cool thing about sawtooth hangers is, they're gonna, like I dropped that one screw on the ground a while, I just put a longer screw in, I know, like you don't, don't do as I do, do it yourself, and just bent it over, because this was too long, and what went through the photo? It's okay, it works, no one sees the back. 
<laughs> so if, as long as they're kind of centered, I roughly estimate. The cool thing is about sawtooth, if you're off a little bit when you hang it, you just hook it on the other sawtooth piece. You just kind of want to be the same distance from the top. So I'm actually going to take these down. Do I have a brush? Hmm. It's only 730. I have a few hours. I might um, get the pictures out and I'll do this real quick and show you how to do it. Which works out good. I wasn't going to plan on doing it, but that's what I'll probably do here. We'll organize it to later. I'll put my tools away. My awesome tool set. All right, so this is super simple to do. All you need is Mod Podge. I bought the matte. You can buy gloss. I think I had gloss on there last time. It doesn't really matter. Your pictures can be matte. They can be gloss or whatever. And you need like a spongy brush to wipe it on. So these are all my new photos for the wedding, which you guys all saw. So I like looking at them. Like I see how much they've changed. Like here's Evan. And there's Evan last year. I think, wow, what a huge chain. He looks like a little boy there, and he looks like a grown man right there. So much fun. And Colin, oh my goodness, Colin's looking. He's changed a lot, too. Growing up, got hair. Growing to a man. And Autumn. Autumn growing up, too. So beautiful. Brooklyn. Everybody changing. Steven. Little boy, huh? Look at Jensen. Like him. See, he had the long hair. Look at handsome boy. All my boys are handsome. Madeline. Look how she's changed. And Jaden. Jaden's sideways, too. Jaden. Look at that. So beautiful. Matthew and Lauren. This was their engagement photos. Now they're married. So happy. And Ashton and Paul. Let's see. They're, they're this way. Ashton and Paul. Look at how pretty. So nice. So wonderful. I love my family. So this is super simple. All I'm going to do is, it can be messy. It doesn't have to be perfect, which is really good. You're, I'm going to just go on top of the other photos. If I peel back the layers, there's multiple photos underneath. If they ever start lifting up, I would just peel them off. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to Mod Podge right on. So you just put Mod Podge on the, the board with your brush. Put the picture on. And then your Mod Podge on top of that. It's gonna look like it's gonna ruin it, but it's not, I promise it'll stay nice. And then I'll let these dry really good and I'll hang them up later today, hopefully. We'll do the organized work tomorrow, right? We can do that tomorrow. Okay, so that bottle is 16 ounces. I only used about a third of it. So you could have got a smaller container. I bought mine on Amazon because I knew I wasn't going to be out. And the, the smallest I could buy with the free shipping was a 16. So that'll last you forever and a day. Very little that you need. This will dry. Um, I wiped up the counter. I found a spot here. So now that's done, which is good. So let me go see what else I can do before I go. All right, I do have time. So I'm going to go ahead and organize my junk drawer. I got my organizers here on Amazon. So let's, let's see if we can do something with it. Of drawer organizing. I wasn't sure how many I would get in here, but I do need some for my bathroom, so I won't be using it all in here, but for most of the stuff to kind of have a place. Thank you. 
so much better. Oh my goodness, I've replaced all my stuff with these nice drawers and I still have extras, which is really good. I'm like, hmm, I might get another one of those sets for another place, but this is good. All done, now my drawer is organized, feeling good. I remember when I put my lids just in here while well, I had extra ones. I think this will go in here. All right, so I'm thinking, is there anywhere else to organize? But I think all my drawers are good. It was just that one. So I'm gonna put these in my closet. When I organize my bathroom, I'll probably use some of these in my bathroom drawer. All right, so the foods I'm gonna make is, I'm gonna make a smoothie for myself today because I have smoothie material. Make one for the kids out of yogurt. I was able to save our yogurt, which is good. And then lunch is gonna be soup and subs. We had the soup yesterday and it's about halfway gone. So we'll have the rest today with sub sandwiches. There's bean burritos in there if they want. There's like two hot dogs. And then dinner, I'm gonna make a pressure cooker jumble because it's easy and that'll be done. So I'm just gonna mix all that up right now. It's gonna be super simple. It'll be an easy day for food. All right, so I got a lot oh, zoom. Okay, I got a lot done this morning. Actually, plenty that I wanted to do. So my soup is cooking. I found another container of my cabbage soup that's on top there. This is good. They like this. And then they can have sandwiches in here. There is Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. There's three hot dogs. There's some burritos. And they have applesauce, of course. So, But there's chicken tonight. Couscous, that was really good chicken. So we'll probably have that with the... Um, jambalaya in here. Smoothie's delicious, even though this is green, it probably doesn't look very pretty. I remember like seeing green smoothies going, that's just gross. It's actually very flavorful, so I'm gonna drink this up. Here's my pictures, they are drying. They look great. So even the shiny picture, they kind of turn out matte when you're done. So this is good here. I got some tahini for Lauren, smoothie for the kids. The boys picked out their um, gloves. I put some in their room, like three pairs, and a couple hats, and then I grabbed two extra here. I realized I probably grabbed these two for the boys in case they uh, don't have gloves in the car, just extra ones for Stephen does like the men. So that'll be in there, how the girls pick theirs out. And that's good, I got my list of things to do here. I got my little organizer here. Look how we got it all set up here. Brooklyn wrote, the Brooklyn has really good handwriting. So I had her write my words because she's a lot neater than I am. So I got the Marion clan. Faith can move mountains because Faith does move mountains. I've seen God do so much in my life. So calendar, I just filled it in. I don't know if I'm going to put my menu on there or not yet because I'm kind of out of, we do have freezer meals, but not like the whole month plan. So I got our anniversary and then we're gone. They're going to have a candy party every year. Lauren, um, so when she was little, like we just don't do a lot of um, like going out trick or treating, celebrating Halloween, that kind of stuff, just our own personal preference. But Lauren is a child. She's like, well, the other kids got candy. So she goes, we're gonna go, so we would go the day after Halloween and get candy really cheap. Oh yeah, really cheap, like 75% off, and then we'd have a candy party. <laughs> so we've been doing that since she was a teenager, I think. I don't even know, it's been a while. So her tradition is a candy party with the kids, and I'm like, mm, are you sure at your house candy party? And if it happens to fall on our anniversary weekend. So her and Matthew are gonna have the kids this weekend with candy parties. So thankfully they have a um, park next to their house, because I was like, Ugh, I don't even know, that's just a lot of sugar, but she's like, no, we're gonna eat the candy and then we're gonna go to the park and we're gonna play for like two hours until they're tired. I'm like, there you go. So they're gonna do candy party that way. So and then I just got Thanksgiving in there because I still have freezer meals. Like you come to my freezer over here, even though it's kind of, I still have like another week's worth, a couple weeks worth, there's like four over there. I've got a lot of lunches here. We still have some freezer meals, but I'm gonna have to go hit the, um, 
discount store here soon just to kind of say, I mean, plenty of food. I don't have to do anything, by the way, but I will go next week to the discount store and see what we can find. But there is still plenty of stuff to, to eat in here. So I will eventually start filling this in and putting our dinners on there. I'm just not going to just yet because we're kind of thrown off with the power outage. So and I got our cleaning schedule over here nice and neat. I printed it and cut it down small. So I always see what it is on here and anything to do I'm gonna put on here. A lot of you guys said to store the markers upside down. Thank you very much. Now I wonder, Lauren, I saw her how she has a um, chalk pencil and I'm like, ooh, would that work the same on here? I don't know. If you have to use a chalk marker, can you use a chalk pencil on there? Maybe some of you guys know that, but I love having this right here. And this Greg put his little wallet here, but this is so nice right here because you know, I film a lot and then I always have like food right here or something in my teeth and you can't see it on the camera. I don't know why people are like, oh, I can always see my camera. I can't ever see that in my camera. But obviously old age, can't see whatever, but out here I'm like, oh nice. You can check yourself in the mirror before, you know, you answer the door or whatever with everybody. So this is working out really good right here. Definitely love having this right here. So I think I'm going to, just kind of um, eat my smoothie here, sit and work, maybe do some comments right now while I'm waiting for Lauren to get here. And then I'll get out the kids' school. This is my big pile. I got a shelf coming here this week. So get the kids' school out. They're going to do that today. It's just going to be an easy day. It's going to be a very easy day today. Library. I got to go to the library too because it's been closed when uh, I was supposed to go last week. So it's going to be a great day today. All right, let me go. Let me go drink my smoothie. Worst thing is getting in the car, it's freezing. Jane's got her hat on. <laughs> I do. I'm in multiple layers today. Jane, why didn't you turn on the seat warmers a long time ago? Because you didn't tell me to. I know, it's freezing. It's like 43 degrees. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, got gloves. I'm going to stick these all the way underneath there because you don't even see them. You're like, is that a good spot? Yeah. See, it works. That'll work. So, now we have our gloves in here. All right, Jane and I are going to go head out and go to church, and then Jane's going to her favorite place in the Atarix. Hello. <laughs> Distraction. <Yes. laughs> Distraction. Um, favorite place in the entire universe. What is, your, what is your favorite place in the entire universe, Jane? Uh, shopping! Technically, the church is my favorite place no, no. in the entire universe, <laughs> but my least favorite place it's shopping. is uh, shopping. Like shopping too. Specifically, Walmart. Right. Grocery shopping. If Sorry. it's Christmas shopping, it's best. Well, shopping. guess what? Today's my shopping day, Jane. Don't take my selfish shopping okay, day. I have selfish! To, I have to shop too, so we're good. Okay, she's gonna shop. I'm gonna leave her alone and I'm gonna go do my stuff, and then she comes and finds me and be like, I don't even know you. I'm gonna go do my shopping. I don't even know you. I'm still four hours from being finished. No, I don't think I can do four hours. It's literally really? just daddy my. Really? Son. That's interesting. We'll see. Okay. I'll I've time been it. in the store for longer though. We're gonna time it, so it's gonna be good. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead to church, get our stuff done, and then head on out. We'll see you in like a second. Yay. All right, we are finished and done. Yay, it's feeling warmer outside now. Showing 60 now, which is a good thing. It's still cold, but it'll be nice. So we're gonna go ahead. We gotta do a little bit of bank stopping. Maybe bank after, because it's the other direction. I just thought about that. Bank later, we gotta get gas. We're running low on gas. It's not E, but we're still getting ready to go get gas. And then go ahead to Walmart to get our groceries. Fun, fun, fun. Did you say yay? yay. I, heard, good mood, I heard yay. So we're gonna, gonna, good we're gonna bank. Let's see if the yay is still there when we're done. <laughs> All right, let's go shopping, Jaden. All right, so we made it to Walmart, so we are gonna go in and do some grocery shopping. Jane, are you ready? Yeah, very much so ready. Jane's got a list for herself. She's going through a list. I'm like, wait a minute, I have that stuff at home. She goes, well, I don't want to take your food. I'm like, you're my child. Take my food, Jaden. So we've been eating a lot of the, you know, the package, the freezer meals and a lot of cheese in there. So she can't do cheese. Yep. So she's gonna find her own, her own today. So we're gonna go in and she's gonna go off and do her thing, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go off and do my thing. I don't think I'll film in there because it's too busy. But I'll come out and do a, a what am I gonna call it? I don't know. A couples only grocery haul. <laughs> That's probably little people be like, what? What is this? Uh, candy and no. snacks. No kids. Yes. We'll do some little couples only grocery haul when I get done. So we're going to go ahead and. All right. Successful, Jaden. We got the shopping. I think adults, we like have so much food here. I don't even know. It's just the two of us literally for a day. <laughs> Pretty much. There's Jaden's stuff in there too. So but it's still, I don't know. It's always fun finding your car. I think it's that way. Let's go find it. All right, I got, oh, I got Jane putting the groceries in the car. How do you feel about shopping, Jane? Oh, yeah, was I talking for, was I taking forever? Not really. Not too bad. Been, uh, I've been used to spending at least an hour or two in Walmart. An hour or two. We've been doing grocery pickup, Jaden. That's like a standard, though. <laughs> if we don't do it. 
that's if we don't have we have 20 kids with us and, and then we have if you go with lauren on a day where she like really wants to spend money we can literally be in there for three four maybe even five hours a that's long time for. poor jane she suffered through so we're done thank goodness so we, we got some goodies we got, she got some stuff i got some i got some fun stuff just for us like things that we would never buy like individual and, and coke, like coke like coke we buy coke but like kombucha like we like kombucha i used to make kombucha so i bought some of that just little things that you know we're li we're living it up as old people as jane said jane's like you guys are old i'm like i know <laughs> so he said i was old yes well you said it first and then i automatically was like yeah that's okay she's like you. that's okay so it's good so we're gonna it was funny she jane bought herself a happy planner remember that the um the conference that I did with the group of ladies it was for the happy planner or something like that. So fun. I'm like that's so funny. I'm like I know this lady. Or I did a collection. It's like a really cute planner by the way. It is. They have really I'll cute stuff. So all right, Jane's gonna put the grocery cart away. We're turning the air now because it went from freezing to you know a million degrees outside. So now we're gonna go ahead. We gotta go to the bank and then um go to our library and then we're gonna be done for the day. So we're gonna go ahead. I'll go ahead home and show you an adults only grocery haul. I mean it's it's like snacks literally snacks snacks for us we won't eat all of it but it's just fun things to have that we'll just enjoy eating when we're out so let me go ahead to the bank all right we made it went to the bank did our running now we're gonna go run into the library library i didn't go to the post office oh I forgot the post office library first now let's see if gregory in the post office let's go do that all right hi ashley in case you're watching the videos i don't think you do but i'm waving to you at the post office there was too many people in there so i said jake might you just go in and get our books so she got them and we are ready so we're gonna go ahead home let's go see also, let me stop and see Greg for like two seconds of the shop. Two seconds, Is Jade. he even here? He is, two seconds. Let's go, it's right over here. Oh, here's the whole family. <laughs> We're leaving you. Mom's infiltrating her work zone. Work zone. I come in and the whole family's here. I was like, yeah. ooh, I better go home because everybody's here, but it's actually the older one, so I still gotta go home, but it's all good. All right, bye guys. Bye. See you later. See you. Love you. All right, stop at the saw. Everybody, and then I was like, oh, the girls are there. So they have them too, so they're painting. Hop and Greg is some painting. Jane went and bought herself a <laughs> cheer wine slushie. Slushing. She's got money in her pocket. I'm like, you got money, go buy yourself a slushie. Yeah, it's and like a dollar. Like, they're like literally dollar. the only people in I'd say, the county that has cheer wine. That has cheer wine you slushies. apple cider? Yeah. It's so good, I need to go get one, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead home because it's just the small kids, but Greg said they were all outside in the building of four. They're like, oh, they're, they're building a four at the front. Jane, should put down oh, there with them. Oh, I had my Jane used to go down there awesome. and cut the woods down for them, cut the tree down, so we'll see Jen's probably lighting a fire. It's <laughs> down the fire. Forest is probably on fire. Forest is probably on fire, fire. it's great. <laughs> okay, let's go home. Well, let's wash the kids, right? No, we're gonna go ahead home. All right, so I'm home now and I'm um, getting stuff out and then Lauren's looking at my stuff. She's like, ew, mom. So I said, this is my adult only, or no, parents only grocery haul. Yeah, parents only, she's like, what? Is there alcohol in there? I'm like, no, there's no alcohol in here. I said, but it's, it's just a parent only haul. So this is just fun things for us. And remind you, we're, we're older and like, you know, we're doing good things, so it'll be good. So this is what we got. So I got, we're doing road trip snacks. So I got snacks for Greg. He likes Doritos. I got these too. He just said Doritos, so I got these. He wanted Twizzlers. He likes Three Musketeers. We're not gonna eat all this. It's just a half variety. Junior Mints, Swedish Fish. These were all things we liked back in the younger years. I'm sure he still likes them. Smoked Sausage, and then this was my, this is my candy spot. I chose Jelly Bellies. Hot Tamales are my favorite. And Kit Kat Dark, and then these, I assume, are gonna be awesome. The Dove, because it's like that smooth. And then um, I got Cheez-Its. Grooves, I like that. And these are my actual favorite right here. I got these because when Lauren and Matthew and I went to Michigan for our hotel stay, there was no coffee in the room. And so I'm like, is that because of COVID or what? And just in case I don't wake up and get coffee, which I'm sure I will, but just in case, like, I like to have it right away in the morning. So I got these. I can have these in the room. So I got that. We got lunch meat because we're going to do sub sandwiches with these buns right here. So I have this, but I have salami and cheese in our other refrigerator. These snacks are mine too. I like these ones. These are my favorite. So, got those, got some gum. You know, you need some fresh breath. Got these for us because we'll probably be hiking and being out, and it's just cheese nuts and some cranberries. Just to have, bless you, out. I got, Lauren's like, ew, mom, candles. Yes, tea light candles. We don't need all these, obviously, but this will be something. I have candles at home, but I figured I'd take these. We can just light them and then um, bring the rest home. Obviously, we don't use. Okay, this is what we've been using for my shoulder because it's been hurting is Epsom salt. So, yeah, old people. But this works, and then they have this the vapor bath so I got that to see so that's basically for my shoulder for right now we got some hummus I got the singles of this and then I got some veggies here this is for our sandwich I got celery and carrots cucumbers and tomatoes to go with that and I did get some ranch they didn't find any individual ranch I'm assuming they were just out so I just got a bigger one Greg wanted cloths and pickles 
Got some bananas for the morning. This I'll leave some with the kids and grapes. I'll take with this as well. And then I got drinks. I got some Coke. I got vitamin Ws for Greg. I got this for myself. This for myself. And then, yes, because we're older and we want to stay up. We haven't had Red Bull since like, I don't know. Jaden was a baby, so I used to drink this all the time. Not anymore. And yes, I know it's bad for you, but you know, we're going to be staying up all night long, having fun, going places, doing things. So Red Bull would be good. And then we like kombucha. I haven't had it from the store. I used to make it all the time. You can look back. I've made it for so many years. And then uh, I thought, well, I would never buy it because it's like $2 a can. You can literally make it for pennies yourself. But I thought that'd be just something fun to do. So this is the adult only grocery haul. Basically, I'll take a few things for us and the kids will get the rest of the stuff to have at home. So this will be it. It'll be good to go. Focus. Having a hard time focusing. There we go. All right, so Lauren just left. We sat and talked for a little bit and caught up. And look what she put together for me. Lauren's my builder, like Jaden's my builder. So look what we got. Look at my little shelf came today. So look at that. That's perfect. I'll probably get, I'll probably do, I should do baskets the other way. I just thought about that. I might get some like thinner ones and put them this way so that I can get the, you know, the books in there a little bit easier. Oops, not zoom in, zoom out. So we'll see, but this works for now. What I have, I'll get a couple, maybe two small ones for right there. Switch them out or put some on the top, we'll see. But this will get the stuff off the floor. So I'm gonna have to do some shopping and looking. And then look what came in the mail. Oh my goodness. What, you guys know I've been doing my cooling racks and I'm like, I, I don't have one actually. And I was like, I need a cooling rack. Well, my viewer from Katie Davis Payne Super sweet, Katie. Thank you so much. That was such, oh, that was, I was like, I opened it, I'm like, oh my goodness. And so I was just talking like I've, I've never had baking racks, I don't think. Cooling racks, I don't think I've ever had them. I might have like got one that came with a cookie sheet or something that I was like, what do I need this for? And I always, always just put cookies on the table. So now I'm seeing, seeing the importance of a, cool, a cooling rack. So I'm super excited. So this is the three tier cooling rack. So that's pretty awesome. And it stacks, right? Non-stick, stackable grid. So you just stack them up. How great. So you know I'm putting these to use. Thank you so much. And then look at all these. Look how great these look. Oh, they look so awesome. Look at how perfect. So see, these were glossy photos. You wouldn't even tell if they were matte because they would be kind of glossy, but it takes the, the gloss off them a little bit. So look at how cool that is. I am super excited. I'm not gonna hang these up today. That'll be a tomorrow project because I'm going to uh, not do any more tonight. I got my stuff over there. Dinner is over here. Let me show you. Look at that jambalaya. I'm not even going to stir it. That's going to be dinner tonight. And what else? I'm thinking anything else to tell you. That's dinner. The cooling rack, which is awesome. My pictures. I'm going to do those tomorrow. You can see those. And then tomorrow, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to close my video. It's about 3.30 right now. So I think I'm going to um, be done with filming for the day because, you know, this mama's, she gets tired. I'm not tired. I'm just, that's so why I'm not going all night long. So I'm going to finish up. I'm going to go work on this video. I worked on a little bit this morning, so I only have about maybe a half hour to do. Finish up the video for today. Be done. And then, um, Enjoy some quiet tonight. So tomorrow will be our couples away um, packing. So I'm excited. Greg's gonna finish up work a little bit earlier so he can come home. He's gotta change my oil because that needs to be done. And I think that's it. And then just uh, enjoy. We're gonna enjoy it. I'm super excited. We're gonna have a great time together, getting away, connecting, and just like going, okay, this is why we did what we did. This is why we, we st stick and stay. This is why we sticked and stayed. <laughs> So I'm gonna go. You wanna go see outside and see the mountain because it's so pretty. Always pretty to see the mountain. Always pretty seeing the mountain there. Look at that. So beautiful. All right, can I go right here? I can go right here. Sun's gonna be in the face. That's just so bright. There we go. I'm gonna go right here by my sign. Forever thankful, always grateful, and abundantly blessed. I am definitely. What's the sign? I am forever thankful. I am thankful all the time for my life and what God has done in my life. And I'm always grateful. I should read it in here, but it's kind of hard to see. Always grateful and I am abundantly blessed. And I am, but it's only because of my relationship with Jesus and what he does in my life. And I was talking to somebody today and they um, were thanking us for things we do. And I said, you know, if everyone realized the what God would do in their life, if they did what they were supposed to be do and they were, you know, being the church and being helpers and, and giving of their time and all that stuff. It's like, oh, they're just, 
they would be abundantly blessed. They wouldn't be sad. They wouldn't have worry. I mean, they wouldn't even have to worry. You couldn't worry, but they just wouldn't have that emptiness of their life. It's like it would just be a blessed life. And my life isn't abundantly blessed because it's perfect. Oh my goodness. Now we just had no power for two and a half days. <laughs> Things break, things happen. My husband and I have arguments all the time. Those things, not all the time, sometimes. But it's because of Jesus living inside of me and like no matter what, it's like I'm his, no matter what, it doesn't matter. Like who cares what happens? It's like I am his and he is mine and that's all that matters and he takes care of me every single day. I don't worry, I don't worry about anything. I don't worry about anything. I used to, I used to be a worrier, worried about, you know, my relationship. I worried about my kids. I worried about finances. I worried about my health. I worried, worried, worried. And God just had to slowly work on me and getting that faith and that trusting inside of me to like give it to him. And every time I like, all right, I get that. All right. I get it. Okay. One more. I get it. I get it. And I'm to that point where there's like a few more things in my life that I know that, um, that I'm going to work on with him. And it's like, and I just feel that like, I don't worry. Like I, to have that freedom is amazing. An amazing, amazing thing. And everybody have it, you can have it. He gives it to everybody, which is so awesome. It's like you can be free from that bondage because God does not want that for you. He doesn't, but our world has so stacked that against us and it's made you go, okay, this you should be worrying. You should be thinking about your kids. You should be thinking about your future. You should be thinking about this, finances, blah, blah, blah. You can't give to the church. You can't give to God because you're not going to have anything for yourself. You can't give that money to somebody else because you're not going to have enough for you. <sighs> Ugh. If we could just be void of the world's views, take those thoughts away and go with what God says. You'd be amazed at what God will do in your life. I'm telling you why. I didn't believe it either. I really, I'm going to sit down. Is that okay? I guess I'm going to talk longer than I thought. I didn't believe it either. I remember like thinking and seeing other people and going, yeah, but how do they have that? How do they have that peace, that joy, and that awesomeness in their life? And I was like, all right. And it's, it's been a few. It's only a, a few that I've met in my life. I mean, I haven't met a ton of people. I've met people, but not like a ton. But I remember seeing it. I'm like, I want that. I want that so bad. And I'm here to say you can get it. You can get it. And me, I was like, I am just a homemaker with 10 kids and at home. And I'm just here in the middle of the mountains, in the middle of nowhere with this mountain over here. We are like backwoods, not anything near anybody. <laughs> so it's just... I mean, we're not really backwards, but we, you know, we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Our town is pretty much, no, nobody knows where our town is, but God can do a great thing through you, a mighty thing through you, but you just have to be willing. Your heart has to be open to him. You can't just, you can't have anything holding back the goodness that he has for you because he has got such amazing goodness for each and every one of you. And if you would just let hold of that and grab onto what he has, oh, if you just had a taste of that, there's a, there's a Bible verse that says, um, taste and see that the Lord is good. If you could just have a taste, like, you know how you eat chocolate? Delicious dark chocolate. I just had a chocolate covered um, espresso bean. <gasps> Great things ever. TJ Maxx had them so good. And something like that, you just go, ooh, that's delicious. That's so good. And if you just taste that and you go, mm, that's so good. I want more of that. I want more of that, right? And that's what it says that in God's word. Taste and see that the Lord is good because he is. He is so good. But the problem is nobody wants to taste him. Nobody wants to taste him. They just want to go, eh, I might just touch him. I might just, maybe, but maybe not. Or, you know what? I just don't think that's good for me. Oh, if people would just taste and see, they would just go, wow, I see that. I get it. And ah, uh, yes. And then you'll be sitting there telling me the same thing that I'm telling you about being abundantly blessed, what that means to be abundantly blessed. Total freedom, total happiness in your life. And it's an amazing, amazing thing. So, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to work on this video. Finish up. We're going to have dinner. The kids are at the shop with Greg. I'll probably be home a little bit earlier tonight. And we're just going to chill tonight. I'm so excited. It's been a great week. A great week after last week's a little crazy. It's a great week this week. I am so looking forward to road trip with my husband. Going and exploring where we're going to go. I won't tell you just yet because it doesn't post later. Yes, I'm sorry. It's happening this week. You'll see this video after we go. So I'm super excited to go and just go do what we, what we want to do good things to do. It doesn't matter what we do. We could stay at home too. And if you can't get away, I get that because we never could get away. This is our second year of getting away. And I'm like, oh, we're going away every year. <laughs> once you get that taste of like being alone and with no kids, you're like, oh, I will save up and do that once a year. <laughs> so I'm excited. All right. So I'm going to see you guys again tomorrow with another day in our life, getting ready for going on my trip and I'll hang on my pictures tomorrow and 
we'll see what else we got to do so all right you have a fantastic i mean a fantastic rest of your day yes and i will see you tomorrow all right bye